The Melt ecosystem is thriving with opportunities. We've just got a sneak peek in the first ever look at a game being built, incorporating the Meld mascot, Melder or Meldito. We've also got the Raw Dog meme coin, which has officially hit a half a million dollar market cap in four days. And then we have the official Azomi Dex capping or hitting the $1 million TVL mark in just three or four days after their launch. So as a part of today's video, I wanna talk about the different opportunities, recent Melt partnerships, and exactly what we can expect out of this ecosystem moving forward. Without any further ado, let's jump on in. What's up, Meld Nation? A welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I'm your host here for Reed. As a part of today's video, we're diving into the latest updates surrounding Meld, but then also want to talk about their growing and thriving ecosystem where there appears to be a lot of opportunity for early members who contribute to the network. That said, and without any further ado, let's talk about Meld first. So we've got an official partnership or integration that was just announced with OneClickFi, which aims to provide a single place for research related to DeFi protocols, risk management, and safety scores. Now, they also do support airdrops as well. And so they're basically a one-stop shop platform to get a better understanding of products that might be within Meld and the different opportunities that lie there within. Now, I want to back out here because there's a similar product on Cardano that appears to have also shifted into the EVM space, which I would personally love to see incorporated into Melt, and that's Cerberus. So for anybody who isn't aware, Cerberus does risk ratings on Cardano. They've recently expanded over into the Ethereum ecosystem. They obviously don't do the airdrop thing, um, but it definitely is something that they could expand to, and I would personally love to see them integrated um, into the actual Meld network. So I'll reach out to Simon, potentially Ken, and everybody else there on the Meld team to see if we can get something ironed out. But it is good to see that the Meld team continues to focus on security. If you've missed it, they've they've just recently completed their own security audit for the Meld lending and borrowing protocol, and that's passed with a flying 96 out of 100 um, for a total score. And the fact that they're doubling down on security with the addition of one click fi um, just really seems that um, it's something that they're prioritizing and it is something that we have to take seriously again um, i know historically evm networks have been a little bit more prone to um, attacks especially when it comes to drainers bridges etc and the fact that melt has now made that shift into the evm world i think that it is something that they do need to be careful of in integrating platforms like one click fi um, helps to hopefully mitigate and reassure the community about their intentions Moving right on over, I want to quickly give a shout out here to um, fellow Meld ambassadors here that have put together an interesting puzzle competition. So it states here, the Meldalorians are hosting a huge competition to celebrate Meld's achievements. There's going to be a total of 12 puzzles over 12 weeks, and each puzzle gives you one clue word. Now, if you collect all 12, there's going to be a key that will be released, which hopefully allows for you to put together the full seed phrase in order to unlock or to get access to the wallet that holds the price. Now the price is one golden bank manager and 200,000 melt, which is right now worth about $2,500 ish. I did take a look at the official um, scan address here on melt scan. And we can see that there is in fact 200,000 uh, melt here equivalent about $2,300. Now what's interesting, and I'll take a break here is just to highlight how much the appreciation of Meld has been increasing. And I think that's due to the Azomi decks. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about Azomi. Some of the things that we heard directly from Ken about liquidity, um, them actually buying out Azomi, and then a race to see who can hit $1 million in terms of market caps um, on Azomi, because that'll actually unlock, I believe it's a $1 million Meld price going straight towards liquidity for whoever is able to hit that benchmark first. Now, before I move any further, I wanna take a quick minute just to recap exactly what we know about the current puzzle um, event, where again, you're able to stand the chance to win that Golden Bank Manager, the 200K meld, and you have to also follow, um, there's I think five separate accounts. I'll leave the links to those down below. Um, and yeah, it's basically first come first serve, right? So as soon as you've got those 12 keywords or those 12 um, seed phrase words, if you're able to get into that wallet, it's all yours. I recommend you probably empty it out as quickly as possible in order to make sure that nobody else front runs you and is able to take that prize away. 
Moving right on over, I want to talk about the Azomi Dex. This has been huge, huge over the last couple of days here. Um, I believe it's officially four days now that Azomi has been live, and we've officially crossed over $1 million worth of liquidity or um, total value locked on the official Azomi Dex. Now, Azomi is the first ever Dex to launch on the Melt ecosystem, and we saw a fully dedicated Twitter space held by Ken, and I think it's one or two members from the official Azomi Dex um, team. During that particular announcement, there was just so much alpha that was shared. So I want to take an opportunity here to recap some of the biggest highlights that came out of that particular space. And so as I go ahead and do that, the biggest thing, um, again, is the fact that Melt has officially acquired a Zomi. Now, they didn't really break down if it's just a portion or if it's the entire platform. My understanding is that, it, is that it's just a portion of a Zomi right now. And the fact that um, the team has done that obviously sets them up here for a huge advantage, right? So Zomi technically has 100% of the market share for the Melt ecosystem right now. There's no other competing decks. And the fact that Meld is actually buying out a portion of them, as they grow, Meld grows, but then imagine all the traffic from Meld being redirected straight back to Azomi. So as the Azomi team releases their own AZO token, I think it'll present an interesting investment opportunity but of course, do your own due diligence. This is not, or this should not be considered as financial advice. Second, we have the news surrounding the fact that Azomi is basically a V2 version of the biggest DEX on ETH, which is currently Uniswap V2. So it's a clone of that. And if you're familiar with that, I mean, you've basically got nothing else to learn when it comes to Azomi. You just got to connect your wallet. Um, if you're purchasing, select what asset you want to swap from into. And then if you're wanting to provide liquidity, it's pretty simple as well. Just, just do keep in mind that you have to provide an equal amount for both assets that you are providing into the liquidity pool in order to make sure that things are stable um, as more people trade in and out of those positions. Now, we also did hear um, about some of the different assets that will be available. So I want to quickly highlight them here. And so first things first, again, you can access this platform at azomi.com from here. You can quickly connect your wallet. Once you do so, you've got the full list of supported tokens. So you've got Gmail, the gas token, ADA, AVAX, Brent, um, which is a meme coin that has just launched here, Bitcoin, DOG, Edna Mode, ETH, MELD, Raw Dog, UMSU, USDC, and USDT. Now, in the end of today's video, I want to talk to you guys about UMSU. I want to talk to you guys about Raw Dog. And then there's also Edna Mode, which is the latest meme coin to launch on the MELD network. Now, Ken did confirm that in terms of liquidity, they want to basically bolster up the stable coin. So that's as much as we can or as much liquidity as possible going towards USDC and USDT, given that those are the two stable coins currently supported in the Melt ecosystem. So again, if you connect your wallet, you can see all the different APRs or APYs associated with providing liquidity. Of course, do keep in mind that you could potentially be impacted by impermanent loss. So make sure that you understand all the risk before providing liquidity to Azomi or just any DEX in the crypto space in general. Now, they did also mention the fact that there will be integrations directly from Azomi um, directly into their Meld bridge or the Akamon bridge, which again, it makes sense, especially if Meld is aiming to, you know, own a part of Azomi. And so just wanted to quickly highlight that there as well for you guys as the viewers. In addition, they did talk about an airdrop being done for liquidity providers who provide liquidity early on to Azomi. So that is a benefit there, right? But they haven't actually um, confirmed what those values are. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Ken mentioned 80% of the airdrop will be going towards liquidity providers. And then the remainder going to just people who've interacted with Azomi. So you do stand a chance to earn regardless of whether you're providing liquidity or not. But they were clear by saying the fact that the majority of the airdrop amount will be going towards LP providers or liquidity token providers. Next, we did hear a little bit more about a DEX aggregator integration and the support for additional tokens. And so do keep that in mind that, um, I mean, in order for people to really find and get exposed to a lot of these assets, they have to be listed on some sort of DEX aggregator or some sort of DEX screener. Now, speaking of DEX screeners, this is actually a really great segue into, um, let's see here, this is define.fi, where you can actually now get access to the entire Melt network. And so this is the power of the deck screeners here. So looking on the left-hand side there, I just select meld. 
and I can now see all of the different assets that are now tradable on the Meld network. From here, you can create an account directly on Defined, and then from there, you can actually purchase those assets, or you can actually um, take your Meld app wallet, jump over to the Meld network, connect to Azomi, and then also make your purchases that way. So from a ease of use perspective, integrations into places like Defined are extremely key. I would love to see Melt also getting listed on one of the biggest um, DEX screeners, which is DEXScreener.com, I believe. So this is huge here. Just want to quickly highlight the fact that you can go ahead and view charts for all of the um, Meld native assets directly from Defined. And as they're added, they should show up here and should be available for trading. So again, just as a brief example here, jumping into Raw Dog, we can see the one hour chart here. You can break that down and go as far as days, minutes, hours, whatever the case is. And then from here, you can see all of the sales as they're happening in real time. If I get myself out of the way there, so you can see all the, the current sales that have taken place on this asset since it, since its inception. And then at the right hand side, here you can see exactly how many people are buying, selling, et cetera. And then if you have an account, you can actually go ahead and buy and sell using these two options here. What's crazy is that the market cap for raw dog is now sitting at $474,000. This was just launched four days ago. Now this team just recently announced the fact that they'll also be burning some of their tokens. So anytime that a swap actually takes place on the official raw dog platform or on the token, they take 1% and that amount is burned. So as more people um, trade or jump in and out of the asset, it essentially makes it deflationary, reducing the total supply, therefore increasing the value of the existing supply. So let me know what you think down below, but I want to take a quick minute to highlight some of the existing meme coins on Meld and exactly how they've been doing. So again, this goes back to the opportunity that I presented when it comes to the Meld network and everything being completely new and everything being launched for the first ever time. Now, to be completely fair as well, there is a lot of risk in investing in a lot of these assets. So the latest one that's really pumped up here is Umsu, and I want to show you guys exactly why. So there's been a tease of an actual game using Meld or Melder or Meldito, however you want to refer to it as, but it's basically the Meld mascot. And so I want to play this super brief video here, but this was just released by the team. And as soon as this was, I mean, you can imagine that the price of the token has pumped up a lot. So we'll take a look here at the official website in just a minute. But as you guys can see, we've got Melder, Meldito. From my understanding, there's actually going to be NFTs, which allow for you to... Um, change your avatar so everybody's avatar could theoretically look different especially if they have an nft collection and looks like you're able to run around in this world and i mean this is already built so whoever has been building this year from the umsu team has been working behind the radar behind the scenes and um, after sharing this year with the community the token seems to have appreciated quite nicely so super exciting times ahead um, a lot of people committed to building on meld and it looks like the umsu team is just one of those teams now, I want to jump into their official website here just to briefly show you guys what they've laid out so far. Again, even me personally, like this is my first time really hearing and diving into what they've built. But their platform is available at umsu.io. And they break down the fact that they're super um, bullish on Meld. And the fact that they're using NFT Fi, Altura, Unity, Pepe, and Dega. So all partners that have um, collaborated to some sort of extent with Meld. Now, I do want to jump back over here into this particular thread, um, again, talking about Umsu, where they mentioned 69 islands, eight months, six team members, three tokens, two parallel realities, and one blockchain. So I assume the blockchain is Meld. The parallel realities, I'm not sure about. The three tokens, we know one of them is Umsu, six team members. I've got no idea who they are. Eight months is which, or is the time I assume that they've been building under. And then 69 islands, I assume, um, refers to different areas or islands that you can basically travel to interact with in um, potentially just game around in, right? So there's also another new token, which is called Edna Mode. So let me see if I can quickly pull that up here before we wrap up today's video. So jumping back into the Melt ecosystem here, we've got Edna Mode. I'm going to open that up and we've got the official website, which again, this just appears to be a deflationary cartoon meme coin launching on the Melt blockchain. I want to add a big caveat here. Um, I am in no means associated with Edna Mode. Um, I am not associated with Raw Dog, but I do hold the token. So I want to just state that out there. Like I'm not working for the team. Um, I'm just a creator, 
but I do own the raw dog token. I don't own any Edna mode and I don't own any Umsu. However, the Umsu um, tokens could definitely change, but wanted to quickly highlight this particular token here as well. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out there on your own. Um, jumping back in here, let's see what else we've got. Um, I think that's really it, right? So we've got Dog um, or Doge Meld, which unfortunately does appear to have had a pretty big pullback. So this is, again, the risk that you do run when trading meme coins. Definitely do be careful. Um, but this, again, just is sort of the ebbs and flows of a brand new ecosystem or brand new economy. Again, just a brief update here when it comes to Meld, the ecosystem. Um, if you do want to participate, um, I'll probably end up getting some more guides out there, but First things first, you want to download the Melt app. You want to then take the opportunity to take any ADA that you have and to swap that out into um, Melt on Cardano. Because again, I'm assuming that you're watching this from the Cardano network, um, but you could theoretically do this from ETH, Avalanche, um, and I think maybe BNB or Polygon. But anyway, you get your Melt app wallet. You get some ADA in there. Swap that ADA for Melt. You can do that on Dex Hunter, etc. From there, you can head over to the Meld bridge or you can bridge directly from within your Meld app. And then um, basically that brings your Meld tokens from Cardano over into Meld. You then connect your Meld app or your MetaMask wallet that holds your Meld tokens on the Meld network to the Azomi Dex. And at that point, you're able to trade swap and basically do as you wish. That will do it here for today's update, talking about the Meld ecosystem, the fact that uh, we now have a tease of a game we now have two meme coins, um, which are doing extremely well. We've also got, obviously, some of the blue chips like Avalanche, um, ADA, BTC, all wrapped on uh, Azomi. And then most recently, we have the partnership with OneClickFi for security. And it's making sure, right, that people are aware of risk ratings for all the protocols and projects dealing within the Melt ecosystem. Now that will do it here for today's update. If you do appreciate update like this, or if you did appreciate an update like this, I'd appreciate you. If you could smash that thumbs up, if it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.